So yeah, this is the Labor Day special video blog with Kick Out Tab. Or oh, for all my female fans going back to school. This is the back to school special. Holla if you hear me. Oh hey, what's up? I was just checking my messages. Kind of like that when they said, "I love how everybody thinks I love. I love how everybody thinks you're so cool." So, uh, been a busy week, you know, busy month, busy year, busy decade, busy millennium, busy lifetime for the boy king out of town, living that accelerated lifestyle. So when I last left you, I can't remember, must have been right before the, the Allentown Fair. Uh, Allentown Fair was a hit, of course. Uh, I sent King Jr. down the first night, my new uh, protege. Well, have you heard of King Allentown? Oh, I have. And yeah. you know he's a legend, right? I'm a legend um, to Okay. I'm here filling in for him because he has been banned from the fair. Pass out my flyers and CDs and keep the King of Mania running wild. Then I met up with King Jr. at the bar. We did uh, a town. <laughs> my new single off King Allentown, the album, which will consequently be coming out the same day as King Allentown, the motion picture. It will be the soundtrack to King Allentown, the motion picture. And, uh, I got two more kings. I got Corporate King. And I got uh, King Liberty. And they descended on the fair. King of Mania was just running wilder than ever. Not sure if I covered this in my last video vlog, but uh, early this week I came out and one of my car windows was smashed. So I thought nothing of it, you know, some kid or something. We've all been there. We've all done it. So I come out the next day, and I get in my car, and I turn it on, I put it in reverse, nothing happens, neutral, nothing, drive, nothing, put it in park, and start screaming, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, the transmission's blown. So I hop in my other car, I'm like, I guess I gotta get a transmission over my buddy, you know, that's how I am, and something breaks, just go get another one, bring it right on over. So I go with him, we get back, we check out the car, it turns out they, uh, they stole, they stole the tire off my car and the brake drum. So, just like last video, the haters are still trying to stop King of Mania. But with the fair this week and all the kings running wild, I mean, it's... it's so all the kings went down to the fair. You know, let them know that they can't stop King Allentown, no matter what they do. It's like impossible. So, like, all week I was going to the ranks and offered to sign autographs at other places. You know, for the fans. I'm all about the fans. All they turned out is track. It's good, but I wouldn't guys hear me. Yep, money don't fold if it ain't right. We all know that. So freaking, uh, I was one of the ranks telling me, though, I'm here if you need lessons, autograph, photo off to see you this summer. I think I would be that this busy this week because, you know, dropping the album, doing the appearances, I thought this would be it, and I'm banned from the fair, but lo and behold, many King of First Nators running wild at the Allentown Fairgrounds. I am now at that level of fame where I have impersonators. I might start a school to teach them, actually. So then on Sunday I went down to really protest the fair. I took King of Mania down to East Pete. Where I got a very loyal following, you know. There's stone cold, true, hard King of Maniacs down there. And you know, I gotta shout them out. I'm gonna list them. If I miss you, my bad, man. But you know, when you're this famous, you forget a lot of people. We got the big man, the pump master, Jesse Quinn. We got Zach Lesher. We got Zach Rosario. We got Zach Stray. We got Big Five. We got uh, BJ Mobley, the big man. We got Mike Stern. Consequently, I scored two goals on Mike Stern yesterday. I own the man. He's probably angrier than he's ever been before. 
Let me think of some other luminaires. Corey Lyons, uh, Anton Mark Boxen, Toby Rocking, King Tick, and the East Pete uh, Roller League this winter. Uh, Devin Doherty, Hurricane Trina. Uh, who am I missing here? Let me think. We got Buzz, Eric Balthazar, uh, Nick Byron, the big man Luke Roth. How could I forget him, man? He was clutch yesterday. Me, him, Brian Newton, you know, doing the damn thing, winning that East Peak Championship. Uh, who else am I missing here, man? I didn't see the I didn't see any Charles yesterday. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. If I forgot you, my bad. Message me, I'll shout you out in my next video. So I went down to East Pete. I was going off, selling hard, scoring goals, did the damn thing, we won, just like the Hatfield tournament. Went to another area, won the championship, went on home. <coughs> Got the sauce hat championship. So between games at East Pete, I rolled over to the pool, a com community pool. And I roll in. No one's there, just like last year, I just rolled right in, put my stuff off to the side. I get in line for the, the diving board with a bunch of little, like, five-year-olds. I'm staying there waiting, waiting for Duke to take a picture. Of course, all the hot bitches are checking me out. None of the ugly ones. And, uh, so I'm chilling. I get on there, I'm trying to go backwards like this. I say, yo, dude, take a selfie, I'm flexing. And, uh, they're like, no, oh, turn around, turn around. So, I go up and I do a huge cannonball. And I come down. I get out and the lady's like giving me a hard time, the old blue haired lady. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, came all the way down to Allentown scoring goals like crazy with the spring. She's like, Allentown? She's like, how do you have a pass in this pool if you're from Allentown? I said, I don't have a pass. I just walked in, it's free. And she said, no, it's not free, it's $10. I said, oh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks for letting me use your pool. And I just took my stuff, put it on, walked on out. Legend style. So on the way home, uh, Boy, Brian, dude, he, uh, he really laid some important information on me. Come here, buddy. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Yo, yeah, come here. Yeah. He said, you know, kid, he's like, you can't put a price on being a celebrity. You know, these people out there, they're not doing much. Maybe they're going after money, and the majority of people really are. And, uh, you know, they pull up in the beds or whatever, and, like, does anyone care? Does anyone care what they have to say? I can ride up on a bike, dude, or on my rollerblades, and people are going nuts, man. They're going wild when King of Mania comes in the building. So yeah, we went to the Vipers tournament, we won it. And uh, the main girl, you know, the Paris Hilton of Lancaster, Crystal Kunzler, she gave me a whole box of Kunzler pretzel hot dog. Which is almost as good as getting the sauce hat, which was the championship. And uh, I'm gonna make them up later and show you guys, you know, what, how to think about it, do a little product review. I already say they're excellent, but there's a crispy option and a soft press watch. And uh, I'm gonna make both and be a dog and gonna try them out and we'll let you know what's going on. So, yeah, the legend's up here in the kitchen, about to get it on. There we go, got a stack of these Twizzler pretzel hot dogs. They come with salt, but you know, when you're as ripped as me, you don't really want the salt. Don't want to retain any water. Same reason I don't use creatine. You know, I don't need fake muscle. My shit's too damn real. So for that oven to heat up, we got uh, our Kunzler pretzel dog is already on the microwave safe plate, ready to get nuked up. Got that ready. Got that oven popping. There's that spray pan. Non-stick, of course. Yeah, while I'm waiting for the, uh, the oven to preheat, I'm gonna go see what I can do in the meantime. Check out that fridge. Oh, we have here a protein shake. Get that bad boy. Keep the pump fierce, you know what I'm saying? Turn this up a little bit. Feel it already, actually. What do you think? This is for you, Arnold Big Muscles. Talking about the Twin Peaks. The Twin Peaks, dog. So, all right, as you can see, that preheat jump off just popped off. So, you know, we're in the kitchen, we're cooking with heat. Everything I do is heat, actually. But we gotta come over here now, go to the state of the art microwave, put it for 115. Let that bad boy go. 
we wait for it to cook and it's staying in shape here. Five, four, three, two, one. Hot dog pretzel is microwave. All right, feel them ripped in pumps. Take this bad boy out like it says. Bring them over here. Take out that pretzel dog. Now I'll put the salt on, you know what I mean? Cause I'm in shape. So now we put it in the oven for four. That little pretzel dog's frying. About to become a man. I let that uh, pretzel sit for 45 seconds, so. So now, we're gonna make the soft pretzel, which is just made using the microwave. The crispy one, you have to put in the oven for four minutes after the microwave. So here we go. Open one end. Boom, there he is. Free as a bird now. Then you put in the microwave for 115. There we go. This is how a pretzel dog becomes a, an eaten pretzel dog. All right, there we go. See you later, little fella. 115 on the Johnny. There's that start button. I wear the shades, it's hard to see stuff. Two, one. Soft pretzel dog is ready for the king. So we bring our soft version of the pretzel hot dog out here. Gotta let this bad Larry cool down for about uh, 45 seconds to a minute. That bad boy just chill. See all the heat coming off it. Get out of the wrapper. So here I am with the soft pretzel dog from Twizzler Hot Dogs. Let's see. Mmm. Washed out little protein shake. My preferred beverage. That's why I go to bars to really hang out, you know, it's like, I'm not the kind of person who hangs out, you know, why would I? I have much better things to do. It's like, Quite frankly, most people are, are actually pretty boring and not really very interesting. So, you know, just to make that little side there. I can't get enough of this soft pretzel dog. I'm wondering if the crispy one's gonna be as good or not better, but it will be great. Come on, come here. Oh, that's a crispy dog going off. Here we go. Come on, boy. Get that hot dog. Go ahead. Get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it. Come on. Get it. Get that hot dog. Get the food. Here we go, the, uh, the crisp pretzel dog is done. I hear that sizzle, I know you do too. Turn the oven off. This bad boy is gonna be hot. So am I. But my dog's about to do some work on that Kunzler hot dog. Oh, he's loving it. Loving that bad boy. What's up, buddy? You like it? Yo. Well, that's one hungry doggy. Now let's let the big man try this uh, crisp pretzel. So I had the soft pretzel. It was incredible. Now I'm gonna test drive this uh, crisp pretzel. Still a little hot. Oh, magnifique. Where's my protein shake? Yep, unfortunately, things have been discontinued. But I had a whole stock load of them, as you can see, so... If any women want to come over and have some of these hot dogs, 
These things are fucking chick magnets. And uh, big picture mode here. Uh, you know the fair's done. We went wild. King of Ania ran wild. Got back in. Got the flyers out. Uh, so now that's all that's left is Keldon Classic. And then the Halloween Parade, which King Alexander will be featured in the Halloween Parade this year. That'll be pretty much the last, the last part for the movie. And then I will be pretty much hibernating for the winter and doing King Alexander the motion picture and King Alexander the album. And then, you know, I might pretty much be gone by then and be in LA or something saying I'm from Philadelphia like The Rock did when he went to when he got big, you know, he didn't say he's from Bethlehem anymore, he says from Miami. You know, I went to school in Philadelphia, so I'll say I'm from Philadelphia, you know, big city, I'm a big city type of guy, mass media, for the masses, celebrity, superstar, legend, slash icon, you know, legend, out.